As Coco Chanel once said, it's not style until it hits the streets. My name is Coco, and I'm here to style, art direct, and design for Africa. I am creative director of a clothing line and I do art direction and styling. In my world, I style celebrities, I style magazine covers, I go to fashion weeks and I bring runway into all the work that I style. And I take street style and it inspires my clothing line. Hi, hello, my name is Rory. I'm Rory. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm Rory. I'm dying. I'm going to take a photo. 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 I decided to pursue my passion for fashion and style by going into advertising media industries as a stylist. My name is Coqueto, but I got the nickname Coco and it stuck because of my Chanel proportion ambitions, my passion for style, my passion for design, my ambition to be elegant to be iconic and my nickname just stuck and now i just go by the nickname coco 
I've had the privilege of working on some amazing campaigns. One of the best campaigns I've gotten to work on is the launch campaign for a TV show called Forever Young. I started my own clothing brand and decided to name the brand Phoenix Style. A phoenix is a beautiful mythological bird that rises from the ashes and rebirths itself each and every time it dies. I felt like the style of a phoenix is something that I would like to bring into the fashion space. If a phoenix were a human being, it would have the kind of style that I'm about to bring into the world. I feel like in many ways I am a phoenix having left a career that I didn't have any passion for and deciding to go after my passion which is fashion which is styling and I believe that I can bring the style of a phoenix into everything that I touch into my garments into my art direction into my styling my first professional job came about when a producer friend of mine approached me to style a music video for a global music channel. I got to be on location with two African musicians, DJ Cleo and Dama Dubling in Soweto, Johannesburg, and I got to style extras, I got to style the leads according to the brief, and I worked with a global director by the name of Director X. So it gave me a perspective on styling and its importance in the global space. My company, Phoenix Style Concepts, is my brand, Phoenix Style, and my styling concepts combined. I also offer art direction services because what I do as a creative overall is I produce, I shoot, I style, and I design. And as a complete package, I offer that to all my clients. My clients include magazines, TV stations, advertising agencies, I work with production companies, I work with directors, I work with photographers, I work with celebrities. I love my work. My work incorporates lifestyle, culture, fashion, style, people, personalities, and I look forward to every job that I do because each and every time I get to be creative, I get to be expressive, and I get to play in the media space in a way that is fun, but is also eye-opening because I meet so many different types of personalities. It expands my horizons, I have excitement for my work, and that is why I love fashion and styling. I got to work behind the scenes with some amazing personalities. I put together the print ad, the PR shots, as well as the TV promos for the launch campaign. It was an exciting project and I was able to give it 150%.
I also got to work on the launch campaign for another reality show called Dineo's Diary, where I got to work with someone who I can relate to, who is ambitious in music, ambitious in fashion, who is a professional, who is a media personality, and also a mom. She's very real and she's very bold. So I felt very privileged working with Dineo Ranaka on the launch campaign for her TV show. Checked out the Nigerian visa application requirements online and I've got everything with me and I'm here to submit like my passport. Hopefully like I get my visa in time to catch the last couple of days of a rise fashion week. I'm super excited. I've never been to Nigeria. I've actually never been to West Africa. I've been in the southern regions of Africa so now it's just like an opportunity to go and interact with my brothers and sisters or I also got to travel in my work to some amazing places. I got to go to Arise Fashion Week, see what designers are doing in Lagos, in West Africa, from a global perspective, on a global stage. It was attended by tons of media globally, and I feel like I got a very fresh perspective on African style, that it's not just about dressing in traditional garments as some people would have it. It's actually very global. Seeing everything that's happening in African fashion has me excited about working on my own clothing line because we are now on the world stage and the world is watching what's happening in terms of African style and African designers. I've also had the privilege of attending several South African fashion weeks where I get to interact backstage with designers and see what their collection inspirations are so that I can tie that into styling all the campaigns I get to work on, magazine covers, and just bring the fashion to life from the runway to the people in media or by styling on the red carpet or styling a private client. I'm excited to be here at the inaugural Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week in Johannesburg. I'm here to see various designers and I'm looking forward to identifying what, which my favorites are for the men's way and for the women's way. And I want to see what the trends are according to international trends, according to South African trends. And Mercedes-Benz has identified themselves as a stylish brand. Coming together with Fashion Week is, is just a very exciting event on the fashion calendar. Well, I'm loving this look. Um, as Spira said, they're using the Barbie hair and the makeup is coordinated with the dress. Woo! 
I just got my French visa, so I can't wait to make my way to Paris, the city of Coco Chanel. And so yeah, I'm gonna knock them dead with my African style. It's on, it's on. I also have journeyed to Europe in order to see what the global perspective on style is because as a stylist I always have to be on the pulse of what's fresh but also in touch with like the origins of fashion. the greats of fashions are, like your Dolce & Gabbana's, your Ralph Lauren's, your Chanel's, your Gucci's, your Louis Vuitton's, and by going to Paris, it really ignited my passion for design by inspiring me to create fashion that's African, but yet global. get to go to amazing stylish events, some of my country's best locations, and enjoy the time with my friends while being stylish, interacting with stylish celebrities, profiling what's happening on the red carpet, so that I apply that to my styling when I'm doing a job. So the biggest music awards show on the continent came up and I just couldn't stay at home.
it's really exciting working behind the scenes in the media that reaches hundreds of thousands or even millions of people. I get to attend events such as music awards, where I get to see how music culture also influences style, how music culture influences fashion. I get to see what celebrities are wearing up front. I get to see what other stylists are putting on people, on the red carpet. And that really adds to the value that I bring when I style. My perspective is shaped by everything from traveling to music to film to culture and that's what distinguishes me as a stylist. There's actually nothing more personal than style. I'm the director.